Hello, this is Broy, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play EU4 as the Kingdom of Brittany. We're still at war with France, although we did get Ottomans out of this particular war. Um, really nothing bad going on against us. I mean, we're, we've won everything we can think of. The one battle we lost is for a brief, like, like, 10 days, Austria was on our side, and they lost a battle, and then, so that robbed us of a bunch of war score. Which is a little dumb, and then they were back out again, so, I'm not exactly sure what happened with that. We could have pieced them out during that time, but... It's not that big a you deal. Know. Uh, we did just lose a stack wipe of, of a stack of 40 over here to all these uh, Indian guys. Um, but again, I'm not that worried about it. I got plenty of money. I think maybe, maybe it's because we didn't have these cord. They didn't have a way to run anywhere to run to. Or maybe it was just fast enough that they died. But I didn't think that speed was, or the timing of how, how long they were in the battle. I thought it went past that, that point of uh, no return or whatever where they could they could flee. But oh well. I'm not that worried about it. Again, we got plenty of money, nothing to do with it. We got plenty of, we got nothing else to do with our time at the moment. We're waiting on France to send some more ships over so we can beat them up. So we'll go ahead and just rebuild our our troops over here once we get our cores and uh, and we'll go after them. Of course, the coring is going kind of slow, but that's all right. Well, we're waiting on that. I guess we'll come over here and scope to speed four for a bit. Let the cores finish a bit faster. Miracle of life. Less war exhaustion. Nice. I'll take those every time they come up for sure. Aragon, really? Well, okay, fine. Um, let's go ahead and give you our general, our puny, sad little general. We'll go ahead and come over here and start taking out some of the stuff that I guess you guys are bringing into this battle. Take an idea. It does give us more cavalry combat ability, but I think we're at the point we need to save it for the uh, the next tech, which is fine. Wow, everybody's picking on us at the moment. Um, which is fine. We got enough ships to defend our mainland. We'll have to go back down to speed three for now, though. That's a lot going on. So we won that battle. We'll go ahead and split off and split CGs real quick. There's technology. It's another idea group, which we're not really using, but that's all right. This gets us caught up a bit. Peace offer from France. No, dude, seriously, we're not, we're not, not peacing you out for all that. That's, that's silly. We're actually not that far off from being able to uh, white piece you out again. Influenza, I guess we will quarantine. Let's put us negative, which is unfortunate, but what you gonna do? Um, where are you going? Right, for now, I guess I'll let you run around. I guess new, new Granada's on both sides of us at the moment. All right, so we got that done. We'll bring you over here, I guess, to that side of things. I mean, our troops are a little better than they were, you know, way back when, but still not great. This will be a insta stack wipe, though, once we jump on them, though. As long as I keep them off our capital, we're fine. What are you going for? You're going for 
Ofe. Okay, fair enough. And you are going for Ofe. They really like that place down there, don't they? Which is currently being occupied by France. Ports are blockaded, really? Oh, yeah, okay. Whatever. Um, let's see. Still got the disloyal states. They're coming back, though. We'll be fine. I, mean, I guess we can go after British Brazil if we wanted to, but I don't know if that's what we want to do right now. We may swing over here and take out some of this stuff. Get that just completely knocked out. And then maybe swing back over to this side of things. I'm not sure. Got to be careful, though. Because they're still better than us on the on the land side of things. Alright, so let's grab all you guys. I think we will go ahead and bring you guys back over this direction. Is that France? It's not white piece, I don't want it. Sorry, dude. Sorry. Now we're looking on force limits. Got another 40 or so for the Navy. Let's go start making up some more um, heavies, I think. Let's go get it up to 100 over in this area. Four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. We don't want to go too far up that way because that's where England is at the moment. That's good for now. That's good enough for now. That'll give us a bunch. We can come down there and beat up on that one ship, but you know, to what end? Really just want to get the uh really just want to get the um cores finished. I was thinking about fixing our legitimacy, which I think I still will do. A little more little yearly legitimacy coming in. That should be all right. Rebel uprising, which is fine. Sometimes the rebels actually help us with some of this stuff. Let's come over here and start going after this stuff over here, I guess. Ah, way over here. Uh, okay, that's fair. I was, I was thinking it would be over on our side. I wasn't even paying attention to where it was. Cores aren't quite done yet, so I can't even build troops yet, which is not going to matter. I'm going to siege that down pretty quickly. What is it you guys want? This is the... Uh... Oh, Separatist right up here. Independence for Ceylon. You want... Ceylon will be a free nation. Okay. Okay, well, whatever. You might actually be able to get it because I don't have troops over there. Uh, I guess what I could do is I could build some troops over here and bring them back over. That might actually be the best thing I can do. How long would it take to build 20 troops over here? Probably uh, forever. Like 
I was like, I was like, why is not we not seeing it? I was zoomed out. Uh, yeah, it's gonna take forever. Um, which is fine. Let's just go ahead and get it started. The sooner we get it started, the sooner we'll have them. We'll send our fleets back over. We'll pick them up. No big deal. Just get it rolling. We got the money. Might as well. We can always do some mercs, I suppose, and that would have been a good way to fill in some of the gaps. Right, so you guys are good. Kind of want to just keep you guys together for now, though. France still wants peace. Not going to happen. Unless it's a white piece. Nope. Alright, so finally we got our cores. Of course, a little too little too late, unfortunately. Or one of the cores, at least. I mean, could we... Could we build, you know, just some mercs here or something like that and buy some time? I don't know. Suppose we can try. It's only money. I got 10 mercs there. That might be able to hold off 20k. Uh, yeah, we'll gain some corruption. That's fine. Though, as soon as we get one there, he's probably just going to jump on us. Wow, England is really pushing through Central America. So we'll split siege just a smidge to get, get through this stuff quicker. All right, so yes, I knew as soon as we he, we start turning up one, he was going to come after us, which is understandable. I mean, they're going to slow it, be slowed down briefly here, but not by much. Of course, this right here is not helping us with England. It's helping us a little bit with Aragon, thankfully, but not much. What is that? Aragonese Brazil? One little tiny province there? He's got some troops over there. Uh, let's go ahead and bring you guys over that way, then. You back off for a second. Ooh, some Diplo power. I uh, will take it. Ah, there's British ships right there. Where are you guys going? Windward Islands down there. Don't think I can catch you, unfortunately. So we can try. Uh, maybe. Oh, there we go. Our lights caught him. Perfect. That helps. Oh, there's a big old massive ships over there. Oh, you're about to land, which is fine, I guess. Nothing we can do about it. Destroyed that entire fleet, which is awesome. And then let's grab you and see if we can keep moving on you guys down this way. I took out the Aragonese ships. Can we just keep on moving down and kind of interrupt you guys? No, we're not going to be able to catch you. If anything, we're exposing our lands too much. All right, so you guys take that. You guys are taking that. Yeah, there's nothing we can do. All right, let's come back home. 
that's fine. As with all of our battles with England, this is basically going to be us just holding out till they give up because there's not much they can do against us as far as taking our capital or anything. guys go away do not need you transports all right you guys group up as soon as we take that I guess we'll jump on those last little group actually you go ahead and go into Brazil surely oh we can't get past that because of the the uh, fort I'm guessing so I guess going to Brazil for now as well You guys, before you get stuck over here, I guess you're not getting stuck, but forcibly removed yourself. I will move you guys over. It's 94 heavies, not half bad. I'm docking for a minute just to make sure everybody's repaired and whatever. I think they are, though. Technology, nice. Um, I mean, we're not going to change anything yet, but I think we will go ahead and take this for some of the other bonuses. As soon as we're in a safe spot, that we'll change over with our our uh, infantry guys. I'm starting to think the best thing we do is just give up on this stuff down there and back away. Before we get cut off by England on both sides. Go back to our capital for now. Yeah, I think that's what we're gonna do. Go ahead and come back up to the Caracas. We'll go out, we'll go to our capital, we'll just sit there. That way we'll just now we have to keep paying attention to all this stuff over here. We're up to twelve K total. Actually, we get up to 20k, we can go ahead and at least take over the, um, take out that, uh, separatists. No, France, I do not want to piece you out for nothing, unless it's a white piece. You don't really scare me that much. Uh, start getting a few more heavies, I guess, going while we have the money at the moment. Go ahead and get up to that hundred that I want. Are we actually losing money now? Very, very barely. All right, you guys get on the ships. And just come back to the capital. Gonna be fine. Split you guys in half a little bit. Let's come chase these guys down if we can. So we're going up to there. We'll leave the other half over here just to hold things out, just in case somebody sneaks in from the other side while I'm doing this. Dude, France, go away. Go away. Uh, how are we looking on? I'm looking for, there we go. More exhaustion's okay. I mean, it's definitely going up, so we gotta be careful. But for the moment, we're okay. Where'd that fleet go? 
Gotta be over here somewhere. Let's go over there to the Gulf of Mexico for now. Uh, you. Oh, he did take that finally? Or no. No, we're just not building it right now. Um, I'm gonna cancel that one for now then. It's gonna be fine. We could, I don't think we got back full money for it, but I think we got back most of it at least. Where did that fleet go? He must be docked in somewhere, so maybe he just snuck past me and I didn't see him. Which is fine. Alright, so let's go ahead and sneak over here to like here with you. And then you're gonna go ahead and sneak a little bit further over this way. Just to kind of be in two different spots that we can intercept at any point. How are we looking down here? 99, that's actually pretty good. Let's go ahead and get the transport sent over. Probably okay by themselves, but we'll go ahead and just stick uh, five heavies to escort them. Technically, we don't need all the transports, but this should be fine. Alright, come over here to New Zealand. Come pick up these guys. Actually, by the time we get there, we might have a couple more troops over there. Oh, there we go. There's his troops. His fleet coming in. We have until 15th of, 15th of February? What? Oh, that's Brittany. St. Visit, 20th of March. So we got time. How many heavies you got? Uh, 22. So I'd like to wait for my full set of heavies before I do anything too crazy. We get there on 3rd of March. Should be okay to move you guys out. And you'll get there on 6th of March. Okay, that should be fine. A little bit staggered, but at least we got our Admiral going in first. Lost some money. We're scoring in our favor. They, we sunk three heavies. That's good enough for now, I suppose. Go ahead and dock in for a minute. Get you guys all repaired back up. Lose one stability, lose 100 admin power, or lose six stability, current ruler dies, which is actually not that bad. Type of government changes to bureaucratic despotism, which means more states, less national focus cooldown, more diplomats. Stability cost goes down. Truth be told, I actually think this is probably good for us. I mean, the stability is absolutely painful, but I think we can bounce back from that okay. You know, why not? Just do something different. Again, I'm not too upset with my current ruler dying, um, because yeah, he's not that great. Unfortunately, our heir is not amazing, so our queen will be in there for a bit. But no, this is fine. Why not? Let's just do something different. Let's go ahead and check the stability. Lack of Republican. I was like, why is it so high? Lack of Republican tradition, really? So we're a Grand Republic now. Fascinating. I'm pulling the Francian culture. Gain three Republican tradition and absolutism increased by two. Our Republic tradition is up here. Ah, so I took the place of our, our, um, what I'm trying to say. <laughs> the words are hard. Our, um, the thing that we just modified, we just popped. Legitimacy. 
So that took place for legitimacy. So since it's low, the stability cost is, is pretty high. So we need to get that raised if we want to do anything. Um, and how does it raise? Does it go up on its own? It does go up on its own yearly. Hmm. Well, we'll have to take our time getting our stability back up, but we'll, we'll get there. Oh, well, now that our all of our uh, land troops are basically safe at the moment, let's go ahead and swap you over. Doesn't really matter. Um, drill infantry, sounds good. Uh, anything else? Can build improvements, can make states. Looks like the best one would be Ofe, which is currently not us, ours. Let's make this one over here state since it is technically ours. War exhaustion is high. I guess we'll reduce that for now. States demand control of provinces. Bourgeoisie. Okay. So you need how much? They have 20%. Wow. That's a lot. Whatever. We'll just give you a bunch of this stuff here in the middle. Well, we got to be careful with their influence going too high. It's actually going to be very, very high. Yeah, we're not going to be able to get you up high enough anyway. Unless there's another modifier we can hit. 78 right there. 78.6. 79.4. That's literally as high as we can go unless we can find a modifier. To lower your influence. Loyalty can go down. Loyalty can go down. We get a bunch of diplo power though. Which may be worth pressing. Now we want them to lose influence, which I don't see a way to do that at the moment. I don't think there's any buttons to do that anyway now that I think about it. It was just loyalty that can go down. Uh 150 diplo power would be nice though. Sure why not? Let's do that. We still have plenty of loyalty for things. It's not very often that you have the uh, influence high enough to hit that at that high of a level. Let me get you another to another break point to get the next thing. Um, I don't really care about this, but it just gives them a little more influence. I think that'll get us to the next break point, right? I did not mean to click that. That was dumb. I was trying to look at it before I clicked it, but it was 100. Okay, good. And then you can call Diet, which is fine. Grant Generalship gets you some influence, which we probably will need anyway. And then we can get 100, which is going to lower your loyalty, though. But that's all right. We'll be all right. Wow, I'm way over my time. Sorry about that. All right, we're going to cut in here. We'll see how the Republic stuff goes for us. I mean, again, something, another button to click just for fun, just because we're almost to the end of the game, so why not? Um, I do appreciate you watching, and I hope you join me again next time. Thank you, and goodbye.